Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Eric Wheaton, and today we're going to discuss the proper placement of a water can during fire attack, and also the fuel load that the water can can extinguish. What we're going to do here is we're going to show you side-by-side -side fire demonstration. The can on the right is in the proper upright position, so that air bubbles up top, we're going to get 50 seconds, or approximately 50 seconds out of it. The can on the left is in the improper position, so we're going to get way less than 50 seconds on it. Right now we've got 900 degrees on the ceiling. Whatever you get ready. Eric, what do you think? You ready? Yeah. All right, guys, go ahead. So we started the cans at the same time. Again, the can on the right is in the proper position. The can on the left is already starting to peter out. The fact that that air bubble's in the wrong spot. You can see that the fire on the left is definitely not getting put out as much as the fire on the right. These fires are a little bit of a deep-seated fire. So the best way to put that fire out would actually be get up close and personal on it. But you can clearly see that the fire on the right, if you can't in proper position, has got a much better knockdown on it. Fire on the left, you still have 400 degrees on the ceiling. Fire on the right, not even 200 degrees on the ceiling. So just putting the can upright makes a big difference. And you can see side by side how much fire that water can will put out when it's used effectively. So up until now, we've used only pallets and hay for the fire. So what we're gonna do for this scenario is we're gonna use more modern furnishings. We're actually gonna show you a couch that's on fire and the effectiveness of the can on the couch. We got 1100 degrees, over 1100 degrees at the base of the fire. Good. Eleven hundred degrees the base, the couch is going well. Ready, yep. Quick hit in the base of the fire. See the temperature's already getting down below a thousand degrees. This is a well involved couch fire, obviously. You're gonna get the hook. You gotta you're gonna actually open up the fire pretty good with the can or with the hook. You gotta get up and close personal. All visible flame is out. Most visible flame is out at this point. But look at the temperature now. We're down to 180 degrees to base the fire. Over a thousand degree temperature change. Now originally the can gets you that 50 feet. Well at this point we don't need 50 feet. We've got the major body of the fire out. Now we're just doing overhaul. We're just getting close and opening things up. That one water can put out that entire couch fire. Modern furnishings with two and a half gallons of water. And that's it. Now this worked well in this situation because this was a ventilation limited fire. But that water can worked well. The 50 feet was able to get them all they needed to cool it down before they got too close. Now they're just finishing overhaul with it. Okay, the purpose of this episode was to show you exactly how much fire the two and a half gallon water can could put out. We are not advocating not gra grabbing a hose line. A hose line still has its place. We still need to grab a hose line whenever possible. But if we find ourselves in circumstances when a hose line is not available, the water can is a definitely a viable option. Just now we saw over a thousand degree temperature change just with the water can. So when you find yourself in those situations, you've got to have can confidence and you've got to know that that water can will put it out. Thanks so much for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Jim Walsh. I'm Eric Wheaton. I'm Scott Ketchum. Thanks again.